I'm Glenn Darcy, Product Manager for Arturia. Today I'm going to show you about our new 1.1 update for our iMini iPad app. So one of the most requested features uh, for iMini has been the addition of AudioBus. So we have added AudioBus. So you have to buy the AudioBus app. It's uh, from a third-party company. But what AudioBus does is now it allows you to choose your input device. In this case, I'm choosing iMini. And we'll launch it. And then over here, we'll choose the output device. And I'm going to choose GarageBand just uh, because it's really popular and a lot of people use it and probably know that. So I've got iMini running and I've got it running into GarageBand. So I just go back into iMini and over here on the side you can see I've got uh, my GarageBand icon and I've got the AudioBus icon. So if I just choose uh, GarageBand I can uh, go over into that, create an audio recording file I can uh, go on back over to, uh, let's go back over to iMini here. And you'll see that now we've got the record buttons, play transports, and the rewind for, uh, for GarageBand. So I can go on and put it in record. And now I can play something. And that's truly an amazing piece of music there that I just wrote. Go to our garage band tracks. So you can see you can record your audio directly into the other app. Now one thing I can also do within uh, within uh, this is I can I can use other things. So I'm going to put a guitar amp. Uh, there's a little program called Amp Kit that's kind of fun. Um, so we'll go back over to uh, iMini. So I'll pick a different sound. A little bit of delay going there. So that's kind of a beautiful and melodious kind of sound. So what more could you want than that? Beautiful. So we've got uh, we've got audio bus running here, and I think that's going to be a very welcome feature for a lot of users. I can also uh, use Sound Prism here to control iMini within audio bus. So we'll go back to Sound Prism. Pretty cool. Okay, to show you kind of the MIDI controls a little closer here, you go to the Connect page, hit MIDI, and you can take a look in here, and you can see that uh, you can now enable and disable different MIDI connections. Now one thing I can also do is I can also have an uh, inter-app MIDI going on. So I can open up something like Sound Prism Pro, which is a, uh, a nice little MIDI control uh, type of app. And I can uh, go back over to iMini, and you'll see uh, up in here that Sound Prism Pro now can show up uh, in here. So I can control it off my mini lab, which is over on the side here. Or I can close this out, go over to Sound Prism Pro. And So we have inner app MIDI working as well. All right, so now I'm going to show you the iMini working with the MIDI Lab. Uh, iMini is Core MIDI compatible. You just use a camera connection kit or Core MIDI interface. Uh, you can use it via Wi-Fi as well. 
Uh, you go to the Connect page, choose MIDI, and it shows what you have. I have the uh, Mini Lab connected right now. I can enable or disable the Wi-Fi network session as well if I wanted to. Um, and one thing I have is I've already got things mapped out here, but uh, I can show you, uh, you go to MIDI Learn and you can MIDI Learn different connect, uh, different parameters. So like I can choose, uh, you know, the, the different uh, octaves here for oscillators. I've already got things like filters and stuff uh, mapped for it. So, you know, you can easily So you can see the uh, Mini Lab actually makes a great companion for the iMini. Okay, now one thing else to notice here is that if I exit out of iMini, you'll see up here it says iMini recording. Well, iMini is not really recording, but what iMini is doing is that iMini allows you to process external sounds in. So right now I'm to get better audio quality. I'm going in through or I've got my. Uh, jack plugged in, so I'm not getting stuff through the uh, main mic input right now, but you can uh, go through your external input here. You can just turn it on, go to your external input, and now I can process voices, I can process other sounds through iMini, um, which is pretty fun. I'll mention a couple other features here with iMini that, uh, that we've had in version 1.0, but they weren't ever really clearly pointed out to people. One with the external input is that there's kind of a half position here for the switch, if you see. So you have kind of the uh, off position, the halfway position, and then the all the way on position. So you can see it doesn't really do anything different in the all the way on, but in the halfway position, you can kind of get this growling effect what the halfway thing does is it simulates what people used to do with a real mini Moog, which was, uh, it was, a lot of people would take the headphone jack output, plug it back into the external input, turn it up, and then feed the thing back into itself. Um, so that's what that does, is that's kind of a simulated feedback loop. Another feature that people uh, have asked about, um, and it was once again in 1.0, but not well, uh, not well talked about, I think, was People are confused. We have fine tune control here, and they wanted to know, well, how do I get a coarse tune control? So, you know, we've got the uh, I'll turn off. So that's great, but I want to go up a fifth or something. So the way you do that is you hold down the thing, and it opens up a coarse tune. Same thing with the pulse width. If you want to get a a pulse width wave. You can uh, hold your finger down on the on the waveform selection, and it gives you a width. Uh, and I can do that on both, uh, or actually on all three oscillators. So those are just a couple of hidden features that have been around since the first release, but uh, uh, people didn't really see where they were or how they were. Um, it's especially useful on the LFO. If I've got an LFO uh, going to something like the filter, so people would turn this up and not hear a big difference. Well, what you do is you hold it down, go to the course. And it goes almost up into audio range, which is kind of cool. So, just pointing out a couple of features that uh, have been there, but people weren't really clear about before.